Mike McCool here in the Royal Examiner studio and with me today is Skip Rogers. Skip is running for Front Royal Town Council. He's a current councilman now. He was appointed last year to fill a vacant seat and now there's a special election yes, sir. coming up to fill just another year to go. So uh, they're going to make you work for it, Skip. Yes, sir, as they have. <laughs> so uh, you're running for this un, uh, unexpired term or no, I guess for a one-year term on this special election. So. Yes. You've had your feet wet for nine months or so. Are you sure you want to continue to do this? <laughs> you know, Mike, it's uh, it's a beautiful town. Uh, it was uh, it's a position unfamiliar to me, and there has been, and I'll be honest, a, a learning curve. I've uh, been at it about nine months now, and I'm convinced that uh, my work as a councilman could be an asset to the community. Um, I, I have a voice, I want to use that voice, and I look forward to, uh, to God willing, being elected. Right. It's a lot of work. It is well a lot know. of work, yeah. People yeah. don't realize, you know, you take this it's a job that you get, you get a, a stipend every month, but, you know, basically you're working for about $2 an hour uh, for the amount of time it takes. Uh, well, as an example, Mike, our last, our last meeting, I think we wrapped somewhere around 11, 11 30, starting at, at 7. Uh, we went into closed session, and the board uh, or the council, uh, I got home at 1 o'clock, and I'm yeah. sure most of the council did about the same yeah. thing, 1 a.m. So it, it, it is time consuming it at times. And, and then just going around the town looking at things and people's complaints sure. and solutions and problems. Sure, so sure. So what, what are some of the things you're passionate about uh, serving this next year? Uh, Mike, there's several things that are really important to me uh, in our community. Economic development is, is top of my list. Along with economic development, I've, I've spoken before about trying to address some of the needs of our dilapidated buildings, the ingress, egress into and out of town, um, and the poor image, I think, in, in, in many cases that, that uh, visitors see. Mm -hmm. We Our do, youth is very important. Right. We do judge a book by a cover, don't we? Well, you know, whether or not you like it, you're exactly right. Uh, if it's, if it's, uh, uh, it can be unfair, uh, but it's true. You come into a dilapidated community and you think, uh, this is not, this is not someplace I want to, I want to spend time. Right. That is not Front Royal. Right. We have a few places that, that really do need to be addressed. It's interesting. Right. I moved my company here in, two, uh, in 2009, two companies, Able Forces Professional Services and Able Forces Foundation. There are buildings today, when I moved here in 2009, that are still as dilapidated, run down, and embarrassing as they were back in 2009. We need to address that. We have youth activities uh, through our churches, through our schools, but we had a thriving youth center recently, up until recently, that uh, many of our adults today are a product of that youth center. That youth center is available to us. Uh, it will cost the town a few dollars, and as I, the term I've used is chump change, mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, uh, to kind of establish our relationship with the county and get that youth center going again. $25,000 to, uh, to initially take care of the rest of the year, and then $50,000 investment for next year. After that, that youth center will maintain itself. That, to me, that 75000 if you will, is chump change in terms of our addressing significant needs for our kids, Mike. So yeah. You'll say you pay now or you pay later. Uh, yeah, and you don't want to pay later when it comes to our youth and, and, uh, and, and the challenges that, that face them, Mike. Right. What about, uh, let's talk touch base on uh, town and county relationships. Then we'll jump into the EDA. So let's do sure, that. sure. Yeah, well, almost at kind of uh, like they blend together. They so. do, don't they? Uh, I have worked uh, for the last nine months uh, trying to uh, enhance or repair some of the damages that uh, have occurred over the last few years between our county and town. Others may argue it, but we have serious issues of trust and communication 
between ourselves uh, as a town and and our uh, and our, uh, our our county uh, our, our county uh, board as well. Uh, I think the roots of that go back a few years. Uh, we we are currently experiencing kind of the uh, culmination of what went on for a number of years uh, and the disaster that uh, that we've gone through with Jennifer McDonald, followed up by a very very tragic suicide of a sheriff. Uh, we have had, I, I believe, uh, issues of trust since then. Trying to repair that uh, is going to take time. It's continuing to take time, uh, but it's part of, of an important part of, of what I'd like to do. Right. So back, let's start on the EDA. So you sure. think, do, you, do you think the town needs its own EDA? I don't. I don't. In fact, when I was interviewed uh, as a uh, as a potential replacement uh, on council, uh, I made a point that I think we send the wrong message, uh, and and I think that's a strong message that we send. If 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 we can't work together in a, in in as you've said before, the smallest county in in the state of Virginia, if the county can't work with the town on issues like economic development. Uh, I, I believe it impacts developers, folks interested in investing in a community. I believe the impact uh, that that distancing of our communities. Uh, I, I believe the impact is is negative overall. So no, I don't. I don't and will not support Frida. Uh, I think we've got great people that are in leadership roles on that nonprofit. Uh, however. I don't think it's the best way to move forward on economic development. I believe we need to re-engage with, uh, with the continuing uh, Front Royal Warren County EDA and begin to build back uh, what we once had. It's important. It is important. It's critical. Uh, one thing we have done that is on a positive note in the last uh, year or so, we've uh, really gone concentrated more on our town events. Yes, sir. And we've hired uh, Lizzie Lewis to, yes, to kind of spearhead that. And that's yeah. worked out really well. It's worked and again, out outstanding. That, that's part of this county town thing as well because yeah. it's blended together. So I think the public has come out and been very supportive of all the town events that we put on this yeah. last year or two. And we're coming up with another. We're coming back now, the Festival of Leaves, yes. the 51st annual. Yes. And so the... the um, Frida, which is the Front Royal Independent Business Alliance, uh, has kind of um, spearheaded that, spearhead that from the World Heritage Society, and they're still involved, but uh, they've kind of taken that under their wings, and they've done a great job last year, yeah. probably one of the biggest ones, and yeah. I think uh, bigger, big plans for this year as well. Yes. So that's the second week in October. So, and again, that helped. The town is very supportive, and the county is very supportive. You know, Mike, we, we're talking about, we've talked about, Challenges, huh? We talked about economic development challenges, uh, issues over dilapidated buildings, challenges facing our youth and how we can address them. That aside, let's take a look at what is positive in our community. We have an incredibly vibrant downtown. We have a downtown in the last few years that is developing our restaurants, our uh, um, our artistic uh, improvements sure, in this sure. community. We, on any given day this summer, we have had a town full of visitors. Right. Uh, Lizzie, her crew, uh, the attention that and, and, and to detail that, that they've focused on to uh, enhance the, uh, the, the uh, uh, visitor experience has been tremendous. Right. It's all because of them flowers hanging on the light poles. Well, <laughs> you know, that is amazing to see folks coming into town and comment. They're amazed by that, aren't they? They are absolutely amazed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So and that's a community effort. I mean, we have is. our beautification committee, uh, which is set not part of the town. Yeah. Uh, but they work with the town's yeah. uh, horticultural department, and I think it's John's his name. He just dailies out there watering them things. And, yeah. yeah. And he treats them, uh, you know, they start off with this little tiny thing, and look yeah. what they grow. And you, you're right. We get a lot of comments. We get a lot of comments about our beautification yeah. area. And we put a lot of time into that. And, and Mike, that's a great comment. You know, we have, and, and, and another positive, a, a huge positive in our community. Um, Joe, Joe Walsh, our, our, our town manager, heads up 
uh, the departments that basically maintain day-to-day -day ops of our community. Those folks that are, are maintaining our streets, the police department, the folks that, that keep us safe, huh? Uh, his department of electric and plumbing and, and, and uh, our, our water folks, they are outstanding individuals. They are to be commended. They are adding to the quality of life that is improving in, in, in Front Royal. We, we so. love our small town charm. We, we, and we, we have it. We, we have, have it. Yeah. You want you when you come off of Commerce Street onto Main Street, you have the general store that greets us, and as we go down Main Street, it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. As I like to, it's my Mayberry. For yeah. those of us that who, oh, I've been well, to Mayberry, yes. uh, that can uh, remember remember Mayberry, uh, it is a beautiful, inviting. Right. Uh, community and there's always room for improvements and I think sure. we and we do have some uh, people have invested in our community downtown uh, we we've, we've seen that in a lot of new uh, re renovations and yes. new restaurants and things that yeah. are come around and people who are continuing to open i think we've had what six new businesses open in the last month or so they're all in the process yeah. and uh on cue has moved downtown and Huge. that's going to be a big anchor yeah. for our uh, especially our downtown evening time and, and yeah it's always some good things <clears throat> i don't think uh, people sometimes they only look at the bad yeah and we need to start looking at the good well we we understand i believe some of the real needs of our community um, for both improvement and attention. Right. The improvement is how do we bring more visitors? How do we bring investment? How do we reach out to developers to have real honest dialogue on assisting us grow? So right. there are great people that are in leadership positions in our community. Uh, we have ideas and thoughts of moving forward, enhancing our community. And this is a great time uh, to be a part of, of Warren County, uh, Town of Front Royal, and, and our community in general. Well, the staff has worked very hard on the comp plan, and I think you all yeah. just approved that. We and did. That was a long, long time, long, long time in coming, huh? You know, that needs to be now. If we could just keep council focused on uh, the future. Yes, sir. And uh, I think that's the, the problem that we have is, it's so easy to get drug in the weeds and get off the goal, yes. you know, a long-term goal. And it, yes. it takes people uh, on council to do things like that. So they focused yes. on what we're supposed to be doing and, and not get off into the weeds. of You know, there's a lot of good things that we need to do in town, but, you know, it may not be a town function, mm -hmm. you know. But then at the town, I've always said the town is the 800-pound gorilla. They need to get the county on board. If the county's not, is falling short, yeah. then let's push the county instead of taking stuff over, do ourselves. Well, you know what I mean? We gotta, that's where working together. I do. I do so understand important. that. And, and the county does a great job. I mean, we just, we were talking before we went on, uh, just right here close to the studio, we've got Bing Crosby Stadium. They've renovated. They've, the Little League deal. There's a park there. Fantasyland. The water uh hoop thingy, whatever they call that, splash park. Yeah. Uh, they put up a new pavilion there. That's just within a block of here. Yes. And yes. there's things like that. All They've got parks in every district of the county, Rockland and Linden, and, and people use those things. So the county is doing a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, and people say, oh, they don't do anything. Well, they are. Oh, they're... And the town has done tons of things. So yes. we just need to get everybody on board and say, yeah, there's a few problems, but you know, 90% looks pretty good, you know yeah. what I mean? And so yeah. we're focused together, and I think if we just continue focusing on the things that work and just incremental changes of doing just a little bit better. Sure. You, know, you eat an elephant, how? One bite at a time, One right? bite at a time. Mike, I, I look forward to, to being a voice uh, in this community. Uh, uh, not so much a voice for change, but a voice for improvement. I, 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 I want to be a voice... Uh, of of understanding, I want to be uh, I want to be a voice of 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 bringing uh, disparate parts of this community um, into at least dialogue, right? Sure. Uh, some of the some of the needs of our community are are not are are not going to be handled in six months or a year. They're long term, mm -hmm. and but if we don't begin to address those, I th I think we're going to lose out. I think we're beginning to do that. I want to be a strong voice for continuing that 
uh, and with the community's help, uh, yeah. I will be uh, elected and, and be able to be that voice. So. Well, I'm glad you've stepped forward. Uh, uh, we need more, more people in, the, or in our community to uh, step forward and do their part, whether it's just volunteering for a sure. commission or a, 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 a committee or something on the town or county. Can or, I let me let me interrupt on that point because I do want to make uh, an appeal to to the community. We have uh, we have at least a couple of boards that that need volunteers. Uh, in particular, probably the 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 one of the significant uh, commissions that that we need. Uh, uh, involvement in is our planning commission. Right. We've got a couple of uh, a couple of openings. That is uh, a critical commission. Uh, we we need talented people. We need people that are engaged in our community that bring something to the table right. that can be useful in the overall planning. So, right. uh, and we have people here. We just need them to step up. We do. We need this community to, to step up yeah. to in a number of areas. Yeah. And I know they're beginning to, and I look forward to yeah. uh, to uh, increasing that as well right. as, uh, yeah. uh, uh, as, as uh, trying to help as council member right. to do that. You know, and not everyone can run for public office, but you, maybe they can't be on a commission. That's but right. But, you know, they can volunteer at festivals. And there's a volunteer. And we need a lot of volunteers when we put these things on. So we do. there's always something for everyone to do. We do. Uh, I always say, walk down the sidewalk, you piece, see some trash, pick it up, pick put it, it in up. the trash can. Absolutely. Uh, those little things add up. Absolutely. And that take pride in our community. I yeah. think that's the number one thing we all have to be focused on. Uh, you know, we got problems. Bring solutions. Don't yeah. Compl you know, I always tell complaining doesn't do any good. Only solutions. That's so, right. And, and we, you know what? And we need that leadership, Mike, a, to be able get, to do that. Right, and, and bring some dialogue because yes. sometimes I never thought of that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we talked about that yeah. many times. Yeah. Well, Skip, again, I appreciate you coming in Mike, thank talking you. to us. We want to remind everyone that early voting starts September twenty second. The election is on the seventh of November, and there's still time to register to vote. So if you haven't registered, this is a good time. There's quite a few races uh, coming uh, this uh, November election. Town Council, Board of Supervisors, our Sheriff, our um, Clerk of the Court, our Treasurer, uh, just almost every office has got yes. something running. We're running, uh, got Senate, uh, a State Senate and a delegate. So there's a lot of races that really need the public to come out and pay attention to who you're going to elect as your representative. And Mike, if I can, uh, uh, on, on a final point, there are a lot of races. There are, there are highly qualified, very interested people running for those offices. And it's really incumbent on our community to do your homework, look at backgrounds, talk to folks. And there's not a single individual, I believe, Mike, that's running for office that will not answer a phone, that will not respond to an email, right. or will not have a dialogue. Right. And I really encourage folks, you, if you have questions, Go to the source. Right. Ask that council member. Right. Ask that sheriff. Ask that treasurer wannabe. Whatever it might be, go to the source and get the information right. yourself. Well, Skip, hope you'll come back uh, get a little closer to the election. We'll have I'd you love back that, in. Mike. I'd we'll love see it. how you're doing on your campaign. Thanks, right. sir. Thanks again, Skip. Yes, sir.